Is it time to start using an ad blocker? Hi everyone, Leo Notenboom here for askleo.com. I'll cut to the chase. I don't blame you if you do. I've been using one for a while. For the longest time, I used to have a very strong position against ad blockers, specifically because they're essentially allowing you to steal content from the sites that use advertising as their revenue model. The exchange, if you will, is that in exchange for watching or seeing advertisements, you get a bunch of content for free. That works, and it works well. To be honest, it's what allowed Ask Leo to even come into existence. And it's still required today in order to pay the bills. But there are a number of problems, so many problems with ads these days that honestly, advertising on the internet is horribly broken. Here's the problem. Ads have become so successful that they're everywhere. And the techniques that they use, basically plastering ads across sites, those are successful too. If they weren't successful, they wouldn't be doing it. But like spam, does it really take a lot of success to make it viable, to make it worthwhile for them to display ads in the ways that they do? Manipulation is also part of their downfall. The issue is that ads, while they are often regulated or screened or have some terms of service behind them, there are so many ads and advertisements that it's actually impossible for any advertising network and certainly not any site owner to be able to scan them all, to be able to vet them all. The result is that we often have seen very misleading ads on websites. The canonical example are the ads that look like download buttons. When you are going to download something, Sometimes it becomes very, very confusing to understand which download button you're supposed to click on in order to get what you really want and not something foisted on you by an advertisement. Tracking is another part that concerns a lot of people. This honestly doesn't really concern me that much. I am not concerned about quote unquote ads that follow me around the internet. But I know a lot of people are. A lot of people find it uncomfortable and perhaps even creepy. And yet, much like advertising in general, it works. The fact is, tracking ads across the various sites that you happen to visit works. Companies sell more product when their ads track potential customers as they surf the internet. Malware is also another piece of downfall, if you will. It's not very common, but we every so often hear the story of someone who has their machine infected, not because of anything they did, but because one way or another, one of the advertising networks allowed an ad through that downloaded and installed malware on the machines on which it was displayed. Again, not common, but it does happen. As I mentioned before, I caved. I know ad blockers are inevitable. I've stopped arguing against them. I don't like them. They cost me money in lost revenue for this website. They make it harder for me to stay in business. But I get it. I really do. Um, I know other sites, particularly news sites, that get fairly aggressive if they detect that you're using an ad blocker. I also get that. Revenue is what keeps the sites operating. And advertising is, for many people, the only revenue that they have open to them. So they go down the ads path. And if they detect that you're using an ad blocker, well, they can choose what to do. Some sites simply say, hey, I notice you're using an ad blocker. Would you please do something? Or, hey, I notice you're using an ad blocker. You'll have to turn it off in order to view my content. I'm not doing anything like that. I mean, if you're running an ad blocker, 
fine. You'll see Ask Leo the way, you know, the way you do. Uh, I'm not going to throw any wonderful switches that say, hey, stop using your ad blocker, because like I said, I understand it. I really do. But I'm still in this conundrum where I need the advertising revenue in order to keep the site open. So then it comes down to, well, which ad blocker should I use? Uh, I used to really want Privacy Badger by the Electronic Frontier Foundation to be the ad blocker. It's not designed as an ad blocker. It's designed as a privacy extension. So it blocks a bunch of different things. But as it turns out, ads uh, fall into that category very often. Unfortunately, Privacy Badger ended up breaking a number of sites for me, more sites than I was expecting, and they didn't always block ads. Right now, I'm using uBlock Origin. Don't confuse that with uBlock. They're two different things. This is uBlock Origin. Technically, again, it's not just an ad blocker. They call it a wide spectrum blocker. Don't know what all it's doing, but two things. One, it actually does a pretty good job. And two, for those sites that are broken by running an ad blocker, they make it very, very easy to turn off the ad blocker for that specific site. And indeed, there are situations where I have to do that, where if I'm going to use a site, I need to turn off the ad blocker in order to um, get the correct experience or potentially even to unbreak something that perhaps the ad blocker broke. But that's what I'm using these days. And honestly, if I'm going to recommend an ad blocker for you, that's probably the one I would recommend. So where do we go from here? Like I said, internet advertising is broken. Given all of the problems, it's really hard to look at it any other way. And yet, advertising is what has fundamentally enabled the internet we know today. It fundamentally allowed sites to come into existence that would not have existed without the advertising. And I can confidently say that Ask Leo is exactly one of those sites. I would not be doing this site if it were not for advertising. But it's broken. As a website owner, I have to be pragmatic. I need advertising revenue, but I also understand that people will be using ad blockers. I'm not going to waggle a finger at you. I know it's a difficult decision. Someday, I really hope that I can get to a point where I don't need advertising revenue, where I can sell enough product or get enough patrons to cover the bills. Right now, that ain't the case. Advertising revenue is required to continue to keep Ask Leo running. And I know that many, many, many sites are in exactly the same situation, if not worse. Some of them are completely dependent on advertising revenue. Whereas I've got a couple of other things that I can work on and dials I can tweak. But the bottom line here is that, yeah, it's important to financially support the sites that you use. As an internet user myself, I have started doing that more often. I've started subscribing to paid newsletters to support sites. I've become a patron of several. I've just gone on to like a regular donation to some software that I use that's essentially provided for free. But the revenue is what allows them to continue to do what they do. I'm trying to put literally my money where my mouth is in this case. But I understand that not everyone can. I hope that you do. I hope that you come up with a way to financially support the sites and services that you rely on, that you think are important, that help you. If you can't, I get it. If you have to use an ad blocker, I get it. But please understand that internet advertising is absolutely broken. It still remains an important part of what makes all of this available to you. For updates, for comments, for links related to this topic, for an ongoing discussion about advertising, visit askleo.com 27791. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.